it's not original. It's nice the try. guy who's just banking on Rush. I couldn't think how to say the words one, two, three, four, five, six is like one number. You just hit him. Yeah. Well, here's the bet way odds. And they're looking good right now for complexity. They've shifted quite a ways since that victory back on the previous map. And in this round, it's a fast play into Ooh. the B-bomb site. It's a bit back and forth. The nades have gone, done good damage early on. And uh, Config trying to hold down the line one by oh. one. It is just the slaughterhouse at B. Wow, that will do. Yeah, complexity with a bit of a stack towards the B-bomb site. And Big just run the gauntlet into those USPs. Nice shots from Config and Blame combining for four and just, yeah, no no entry for big. They get into the site. That's about it. That's all they get. They don't get much further. And the start of this T side, the worries already present themselves. Uh, you know, obviously, Searson, he looked excellent back on Mirage. He didn't really appear yesterday. Of course, Vertigo could just not be his map. But, uh, you know, if he can channel what he just showed us in the previous map of the series and bring that into this one today, I think big could have a far more, lot more success on the T side of this map. You know, an orb can be very influential in holding down aggressive positions or taking picks towards the A side of things. If you have an orb on ramp in an A post plant, oh, few places where that can be right. Is he in the middle with a deagle? Big are good at these forced rounds and not going to be winning that first fight at the very least. Config is low though, so he is teeter totting on 10. Big going to move their way up towards A though with the remaining troops, four players in the site. Is spotting it's debate on Tares. Poison's on rotation to come and assist with these T's up into A, and he will get rid of one. Blame looking to make some money and uh, not wanting to take any risk while he does it. He's going to give up the A site and play retake. Now we'll note we do have a nade on Rush, a nade on Blame, and Molly's on both of them. So they're waiting for a bomb plant. This is by design for Cole. Very easy to throw these grenades from this position. There's the Molly going over. That's going to force Tapson out of the spot. He can't stick it. He has to go for an open plant. And if he does that, he'll likely get spammed. So it's a, it's a lose-lose situation. The fake plant, the grenades will fo uh, follow. And actually, one of them going out. Here's the second. That will do the killing blow. Goodbye, Tapson. Thanks for playing the round. But you will not be getting that bonus money for Big. Not anytime soon. The Deagles for Keto. Okay. A couple of kills out of nowhere. But this should still not be around. No, they rush him. They deny that bomb plant money. Complexity very unforgiving here in this round. And that's looking to continue. One thing I will say about it is that, like, so, so you mentioned how for big, it feels like they need to put up a good T side start. And that was obviously uh, something that we really didn't get to see from them just the other day versus mouse boards on this map. Well, I think as well, like it, it's worth mentioning that complexity, they look like A, they can play the T side very well, but also their CT side versus the bad lines yeah. was, was great, so was good. stellar. And you know, I think for big, that's what, I, at least from what we've seen so far, I'm feeling like they're banking on a strong CT side performance. I don't know, man. I, d I really don't know how this is going to stack up. It's a very interesting game. We are early days, right? And, you know, it may have just been a match of uh, differential where, where Big are unable to play against, like, Mal Sports' style, right? And so, you know, 40 rounds, like, it was the first yeah, half. Yeah, I mean, obviously, up. right, it's that, that game. whole game is very weird. Like, you yeah. had the double messed up run boost back to back rounds. They yeah. sacrificed the player early on, right? So, yeah, I think it was, like, safe to assume that that was a big play at a uh, at 100%. I mean, they did go on to win the match. That's the crazy part, right? Yeah. Like, we're talking we're talking down on them like they lost them, <laughs> yeah. but it, it, it was yeah. a four round T side and I, I don't think I've ever seen not not in this form of Vertigo with current B I've never seen a team get so little rounds on the T side yet still win it due to their defense like it's great but can you rely on that I think is the question we're asking yeah, I, and I, I think the answer against complexity is probably no yeah I think like the the date on it was like something like 57 or like 53 percent of T side rounds are, are won on this map oh Keto well he's trying to bump up the statistic right now a nice little deeg onto poison and now just blame F is already low. Only a body shot is required, but the aim punch sends the aim of Keto flying. I'd rather aim punch from Blame F than a real punch, though, any day of the week. So there's always rather get that. shot than Blame F than punched by Blame F. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think I want either. I wouldn't want either, no. Like, you know, but if I had to choose, if someone came to me, Blame F came to me and said, you know, these are your options. I'm going to shoot you or I'm going to punch you, Harry. And you say, well, shoot me, Blame. Yeah, that's the one. But make sure I'm not wearing any Kevlar Because it's an honor Ooh. to uh, find yourself on the receding side of blame in the server. 
Only this time around, Centaurus is the one bestowing the uh, kills in this round. Big going a man up. Searson taking a peek up through the ramp, trying his best to extend this advantage even further. Complexity, they've got a very heavy stack over towards the top of ramp. And this is the right decision for them to have made, at least with how this round is looking for Big. They've got a lot of presence outside of uh, the A-bomb site. But I will say, with Tizian holding on to B and Keto watching for this uh, this mid plate, there, there's 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 a good chance that this bomb could rotate back around. They've left these options open. They're they're hoping that someone from Complexity goes on a lurk and like tries to flank in through B or mid, and that's just not going to happen. Complexity, they've gamble stacked this A bomb site, and so a big keep moving this way because now they've moved Keto away from the B hold. They're going to be walking into this stack for Complexity here at A. Uh, you know, a mid luck or something of the source from Tizian could be very impactful here. Flashes up the call. They're going to try and get aggressive. Config pushed forward with that utility. He gets nothing from it. Poison, same story, but looking to be a little bit more effective this time. Denied by the Orb Assist, and it's Oboe to pick up the pieces of this round. And this round is in pieces for big. Tizian on this lurk that we so often see go unaccounted for. But right now, it's everything that big have. And Complexity are very aware of it. Good grenade will do damage, but nothing significant. And Oboe on a three kills right now is looking for the four piece. It might just be around the corner. Tizian should probably save. And and he's going to get out of here alive at the very least. Cole give him that, but they will take away another round. 4-0 lead. And, and that's you know crazy from Cole. The fact that they, they get that trade, right? Poison gets the orb kill and, and, and backs off. And it looks like Cole want to just give, you know, give the room away to their opponents and just sit back and wait for the execute, play retake maybe, or go back to those nades that worked earlier. But instead they go, nah, let's just push. Let's just get aggressive. And a great flashbang. Config goes aggressive. He dies, but Obo follows him. And it was all a bait and switch. Config's drawn in. Obo shuts them all down and complexity keep up this flawless CT side. Yet to see a T round for big. And until we do, I'm going to be continually worried. It was a nice opener for big, right? Like the fact that Zantaras drops a player through the smoke and they even get early control, but denied later on. Big are going to go back to what seemingly worked. Which was the A site. They couldn't molly off. Well, they actually can't molly off the sandbags. They have no utility, no HE, no molly. Blame's position is so valuable. They have to manually clear this out. And Blame, if he gets flashed up, he can do so much work here. He's going to wait for contact instead. Swinging off for the sounds. And there's one. Doubles it down. Oh, not quite. Searson survives the flashbang from Poison Blinds. Blame, that's not what you want. It's a team flash that's given away two kills. Tabs and follows up. And Big have a man advantage on this ace site. Finally, this should be their round. It's one of those horrible moments as well where Poison's like, don't worry, I'll make it up to you. I'll get this trade. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> oh, no, it's a four on three. And uh, big, they've slowed right down. They, they're not going to commit to A. They walked into the stack here last time around. And once again, complexity, they've hedged their bets. They've rotated everyone around towards this A side of the map. The bomb has rotated into the bottom of B. And while this is going on, Poison... Poison rather. Searson still here with this scout, just being a nuisance, just throwing in this fake, and Rush is going to deal with him. It's now a three on three, but they've completely lost the B bomb site, so it's still going to be a very hard round for Complexity to get back into. But that kill onto Tizian out in the open, trying to lurk through mid. That's given them more than a means yeah. to get back into it, right? A three on three, there was even a world in which complexity might have just saved, but now they are spurred on. Now they are looking for this. Tabson trying to answer the call, but he's only good for one. It's Keto now alone to finish the work that Tabson so graciously started. And this bomb ticking away. Keto trying to play for the bomb tap, and he does swing out. Deals with Oboe now. Just config left to deal with. Oh. And Keto hits the shot. Big get their first wow. round on the board on the back of this big boy B play. And a 3k from Tabson, two for Keto. That's the round. Yeah, I mean, Tizian on these midlurks, I, I want to keep my eye on this on this T side, right? That that previous round, he tries to flank A. His team are all dead, so he's kind of screwed there. That round, you know, his team get B first. And he tries to fight. There's nothing wrong with Tizian playing there, but he gets killed. He misses the shot, and that gives a way back into the round for Cole. The, the safer way to play it for Tizian is just let Cole rotate into B and backstab. I feel like we don't see enough of that in these midlurks. Backstabs. That's what they're so effective for, because CTs are off and just going to give up that position in mid. They're going to go, yeah, there's nothing mid for 30, 40 seconds. There's probably nothing mid. And so patience can really pay off in a map like Vertigo where, where you know, CTs are constantly scrambling between sites. And mid is just more of a, you know, filler spot. A place you rotate through that occasionally you'll find enemies at.
but not often, and not in this round. Bigger grouped up towards A as five, or four rather. They've lost Sirson early. Poison has at least got a scout shot down ramp before he was traded. Finding a tag onto Santaras as well. Look at how low he is. So this is not a safe round for Big, but they do at least go about their business, mollying the sandbags, making sure Cole aren't aggressive, and a site smoke's coming through as well to set up this bomb plant. Let's see if Complexity allow it. Rush has been good over at short. This time he's only got the MP9. That molly's well timed to force a player forward, but all it does is bring the beast to Rush. Tabson, they forced him into this site and they thought that he was uh, he was trapped in here with them, but it turns out they're trapped in here with him. Config trying to deny this bomb plant, not able to find the connecting shot. And so this should be the round for big. There should be a second on the board. Now he's going to find Centares. All right, oh, maybe no. we spoke too soon. Tabson gets tagged there by a Deagle. Still an M4 on Oboe as well. The flash is great, though, and Tabson is hunting these kills down. Oboe does recover and does get that trade. Tizian on the line. And, ooh, Oboe pressuring what? him. Now it only falls onto Keto. Someone's going to got, got to get on this bomb, and they've got to get on it now. Keto needs this clutch, and he finds the first man. Oboe's off the bomb, and Keto's going to keep it under wraps. Once again, a 1v2 from this man. Back-to-back -back rounds now to find two on the board for Big. Ah, oh, that's such a heartbreaking one for, for Obo specifically and, and just everyone on call, right? Obo gets away with three kills there. The fact that Tabs is like chasing him with a spray, Obo waits it out, re-peaks on the reload, gets three. And at that point, the time is low. They don't have a kit, they don't have a smoke. Someone has to stick it. Obo's the closest, so he jumps right on it. He lets Config try and win the one-on-one. -on -one. Config hits that shot, Cole, Cole win the round, but he doesn't, gets killed by the AK. And with that big, just close it out. Nice eco regardless, or at least low economy round for Cole. But now, well, this is a really low economy round, maybe even an eco as it's full USPs with a Zeus on Oboe and a five-man B setup for Cole. Big are working their way up A with a bomb. And so this is no longer a worry for them. I mean, not that they're even aware of it. Not yet, at least. They're about to be. Once clearing out A, that'll give all the info for Big that Cole, a full five-man stacked up on B, and Sirsu should be able to make an absolute mockery. Let's get it. Sears and make that money. Uh, well, twelve hundred dollars. That's okay. He was hoping to make a little bit more there, but the USPs do overwhelm him. Rest of big. They decide they want their piece of money as well. Tabson's hunting it down, and he wants twelve hundred dollars for himself. Now, poison. I like this. This is gross, but Zeus is fickle, and it doesn't work out for him. Ooh, blame. Just looking away. He'd love this kill, because if he gets it, he gets out of the round with a with an AK and he makes six hundred dollars. But man, Zantares is fast. Alright, yep, that doesn't happen. Big. Three on the board now. This is already looking like a better T side for Big, right? Not just fully focused. I mean on it that already is. almost is a better T yeah, side well, for Big. That is true, that is true. But um yeah, I mean, not just in rounds, but just in how they're playing it. Just a far more safe T-side, big, going about the motions, grouping up, yeah, not I did, overplaying the hand A. I didn't know, like, you know, it, it, in the in that series, like when we saw Big versus Mouse Sports, and they, like, messed the run boost up early on, I didn't know how much that would play into the no, game. But, neither. But now looking back at it in hindsight, it does feel like maybe they got a little bit frazzled on the back of that, right? Yeah, and, I, I uh, think even they were maybe, I don't want to use the word overconfident, he says as he uses the word overconfident. Okay. But maybe they thought it would be easier than, than you know, than they assumed. I mean, again, all of this is funny because they won the map. So it's not a worry, but it's the T side that we're talking about. That's always been the issue. And big looking to come up with solutions here on this A site. This is a full buy round for both teams. The orb doesn't have armor. Tapson's on a MAC-10. There are definitely holes in either side's buy. No kits for the retake. So Poison has to fight for his death here and he's gonna get two before he falls. The bomb's been dropped. Santaris follows up. Poison will drop the orb. Uh, the lack of armor really proved to be a problem. Oh Poison's up for the ace right now and there's no one that can stop him. Maybe Keita can be that man, but he's been very loud. He's running up the ramp and Config will close it. Stealing the ace, but it's not a worry. Poison, can he find the orb? Yes, that's an upgrade as well. And Complexity back on, back on the board, back in with five.
And something that I do love about this complexity crew is that they, they always seem to have an answer for whatever problems are being thrown their way. And, you know, it might sometimes take them a round or so to figure out, but they're very, very quick at problem solving. And, you know, I think a lot of that is just going to be residing with Mr. Playmare. He's been, like, one of the best diamond in the rough pickups, I think. Yeah. In CS in recent memory, like, he's been excellent. Yeah, the fact that, you know, not only is he leading against tier one, or, or has led and can lead against tier one opposition, but he can perform behind that. Like, that's... How many how many players can, can put up the performance that Blaine consistently shows in the server while leading a, a bunch of people like this, you know? It's, yeah, credit where credit is due. Like the quite the roster, but right now that roster is getting torn to pieces, two down in this round, relying on the orb of poison and Russian blame. Full stacked on A, big, they got kills on both sides of the map and they are going to come back towards this A side. Actually, sorry, both kills with B. So, you know, expecting Complexity are going to gamble stack. That's the wrong read. Complexity will come back to this site, but the missed shot will cause disaster. And those kills just keep on coming for big. Two from Keto. Flames giving away his position. He's here to stay. But, well, the grenade will trade, but Keto gets away with four before that point. Big also up to four. This is all the rounds they got on their T side against Mouseport in a game that they won off their CT defense. So Complexity's work is cut out for them here in this first half. Although I will say, it did seem like Mouseports had real troubles on their T side as well, right? Like, you know, it wasn't just big having a 6 CT side. Mouseports bottled a few crucial rounds, I'm sure you remember, with, with those like A executes, with Carrigan planting in the smoke and getting spammed, you know, back-to-back -back rounds, Rops flanking, unable to do it. Yeah, so there's that to keep in mind. I don't think Complexity are going to be, you know, making those same mistakes. But that's why this this game is so exciting. This game is so competitive. And after a double OT back on Mirage, we're neck and neck here and now. Big looking to find five. There shouldn't be much to stop them from doing that. Complexity just have a dig and a flash on Oboe. But look at the bomb. Yeah, this stack might never see the light of day. Wow, man. Like, it's a new era of peace in the server. B side belongs to big, and the A side belongs to complexity. These are the terms of the agreement. And big, they're pretty happy with it. You know, they're, they're like staying true to the terms. They're keeping this B side under wraps. They're loving life. They've got their bit of territory, but oh dear, here come complexity. They're not content with it. They're trying to sneak back in. However, this should just be a real slaughter over here in CT spawn. All these pistols grouped on up. And they're hoping the players come to them. And, and Big just aren't going to take this risk. They want to build up money. They're planning for the future. They're not playing 4KD. Oh, Searson, how many can you get with one shot? Zero on the first. Lots of players flooding in. And Keto here padding these stats out. That's two for Keto, one for Searson. They do deal with one of these players, but that should be all said and done. And indeed it is. Searson with three, Keto on a double. And a fifth round for Big. But only up against the pistols. And now it gets exciting again. The reinvestment coming through for complexity. It's going to be lacking the AWP over here on this CT side. But Poison's look good on the M4, honestly. He's yeah. been holding down this A site with it. I think as well, like, not going for these early ramp picks as you just denied Searson much action on the AWP. So actually, I don't think that's as big as a blow as, as it might necessarily feel to complexity. Yeah, I'd love to see Poison get the AWP and get the chance to fight aggressively back in that position, though. So hopefully that will come soon. Obviously, the money will dictate that and whether the, he, he can save Citizen's Orp potentially or not. Stalemate right now. Tizian's holding mid, 0 oh 6. Cole have double set up in this position. They like to do this occasionally. Rush and config with a boost up and a, a essentially bait and switch in middle, but they're going to start to push and prod. This could be well timed. That molly lands in scaffolding. Flame has actually gone ahead of it as well. We have a three-man mid play here for Cole and Tizian. This is his time. This is his moment. He's dropped the first. There's no follow-up. There's no trade. They let him get away with that one. There's a flash up. Config looks into middle, but at that point, Tizian's left, and they're already setting their eyes on A. So Taurus has found that opening kill. Config's flank is coming through, but at this point, Big are moving into that A bomb site. Convict's trying to come around on this wrap, but is he even going to be able to find anything? Tizian is actually holding B, and...
could shut down both these players on this flank. They're not ready for him. They're not aware. Blame is Ooh. keeping his eye on this position. And Tizian actually not able to get that kill. But a three on four with two players spotted on the flank. This round is written off straight away. Yeah, it's the right call to make, definitely, right? Like, that gives away the fact that you're behind them. Big don't know that uh, before that kill, but now everyone will be looking at ramp, including that orb, and your complexity, if they can get away with three, you know, that's a decent amount of weaponry. I would say they can buy around it, and I mean, they can. You know, the last bonus is going to give money for these three to drop guns over to the two that didn't survive, but yeah, you're going to get max one more M4 unless you want to play FAMAS or SMG. And so it might be tempting for Complexity to just eco. And next round, they'll have everything, including the AWP, full rifles, full util kits as well. I think, in my opinion, that's a safer call than buying up here. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. That is actually mind-blowing, isn't it? Makes you feel old. It's nuts. The oboe is, is is like so, and, and you can tell like just when you watch him, like just how smart he is in the game. That's why like during Pro League, I accidentally called him the NA Zipex, but like, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. He, he's just got such a cool head on his shoulders. And for such a young player, that's a really good look, I think. Yeah, very calm. Uh, that can be hard, right? You know, this game's stressful, man. Like when you're winning, when you're losing, just when you're playing, you know, it can be, get your heart rate yeah you know like when you're playing well you got always that pressure to always be playing well when you're getting wrecked you got the pressure that you're getting wrecked and you're like <laughs> oh you know i, I don't even know like yeah. when when the feel good feeling comes I, I, in i really want this something else. something i've not asked any pros ever and i i feel like i need to next time i speak to them is is do, do, do that a lot right yeah do like, their hearts yeah i mean i actually know pros by first okay yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know you um do, do people's heart still beat as much in the clutch after years of playing this. Because for me, like, I, I'll, be, I'll be playing a, a matchmaking game, man, and I'll be in a one on three and my heart will be beating. Does that happen on the world stage? I would only assume it, it, it gets worse, right? Because there's way more pressure, there's way more stakes. But then, you know, these guys do this every day. So it's just a day in the office, you know, people don't get sweaty when they're typing out spreadsheets in their cubicle. So what's it like for these guys? I don't know, but back to the action anyway. It's a bit of an A pipe for big, the boost denied and Blame's got to run. Yeah, now that you've spotted the boost, it's very tempting for Zintares to just swing on out from short and catch them in this position. Ooh. Flashback through for Blame F, but he's only presented with one kill, and Tizian in with the response. The man advantage taken for big. No utility to rain on down into this, uh, this plant spot, but Keto actually will get wall banged out of the round. However, Tabson holding the line puts up a double and leaves it all onto Oboe in a 1v3. Now, two of these players are very, very low. This nade that's in Oboe's hands could be lethal. Goes out towards his sandbags, at least going to give him the kind of knowledge that that area is now likely clear. But with half the time ticked off this bomb, Oboe, I don't even think he's going for this anymore. No kills presented themselves. The bomb is planted out in the open. Everything is stacked against him, and he knows it. Yeah. The reason he hangs around is because Cole have the money, right? They ecoed this one uh, around those safe guns. So they, he knows he can buy whether he lives or dies. So, you know, living is obviously better. It means you can spend less money, save some for later, even drop that orb if you want poison to have util behind it. But uh, we'll see what this, the decision is from Cole. Big are building into this T side right now, looking to take us to a third map. Certainly attainable in this best of three series. That third final map is dust two if we get there. Good middle ground map between both of these teams. One that, if I were Cole, I would be very scared of, you know, having to reach because Dust2 yesterday, mm, big. 16 2 over mouse sports on that very map. So, terrifying scenes, at least for complexity. Still with a chance of 2 0ing, though. Only down by 2 in this one. Double orb, in fact, in play. And one of them in mid, the other on A. But a solo B setup. Oh, look, it's over once again. Is this going to be a problem for Big as Complexity lean heavily towards that A bomb site early? Obo, he is going to be the early warning system, but it isn't much of a warning because Big, they've got five players ready to burst as soon as they kill him. Yeah, the nade is good, but Obo's given up his position with this spam. He's anticipating they might have tried to boost on up. Now, Keo tries to stare away from the flash, and in doing so, Obo does get a kill before he's traded. So now a four on four. There is still a chance for complexity despite this B site looking like it might waver here as the site take comes on through. 
think they've kind of pumped the brakes. They've slowed down a bit, and this has given a lot of time for Complexity to get ready and get players into this site. And Config being one of them, holding the line down with this orb, puts up another. Config coming alive, and a player up on top of the box. Oh! oh Config, no scope through this smoke quick as you like. Searson all alone, and Config trying to best him. It is going to get beaten to the punch by Rush, but still a stellar hold from Config on this secondary orb. And I tell you what, man, we see him buying this orb quite a lot alongside Poison. It's great for them to try and like slot a little gimmicky round in the side. Up until now, I haven't really seen much from Config on this second orb that I felt like, yeah, man, I really love seeing him on it. But that round there, he comes alive and he looks so comfortable yeah. taking those head-to-heads. He breaks up every fight. It's just a series of 1v1s. There was never a chance at a trade if you're big. You just needed to win the gunfight straight up and it never happens. So now it's back to the drawing board for the big boys. That, that B site is so often just gets turned turn into, you know, like a, a smoke wall, a smoke dungeon, just covered and nowhere to see if you're a T trying to get into the bomb site. So complexity, just hide behind the, the walls, the gens, the smoke, the pillars. A lot more cover for CTs there. Ollie into middle, that's gonna force config off. Posting up in CT instead. That's what Poison sits with his AWP as well. Elevator side. This double AWP in mid is going to be a great combo for Cole. Especially considering Big have heavy mid control with the bomb here as well. So Cole can afford to dedicate two here. They've got Oboe alone on B. They've got a double A setup. Things are looking okay right now for Complexity. Big missed that pop flash, but more utility to follow. They can smoke off Config. And in fact, he's already begun his rotation back towards B right now with Keto getting spotted down lower. Big are going to throw their nades mid. They will leave. Santara's flashed up towards A, trying to cause a bit of a ruckus. And I'm still unsure where that bomb is going. It likely looks like he wants to join this A play. Keto has abandoned B as well. And Rush is re -aggressive. This could be a problem for Big. He's dropped Antares, regaining the short control as Big set up for the execute. They have only 25 seconds left, and they don't own short. There's two CTs here, and they're trying to gain information. They're getting more than that. They're getting the kills as well. Rush with a double, so they surely won't expect blame from the same spot. Right here, right now, blame putting up a kill and now Keto left in this one alone. Five seconds, it's not gonna happen. Sorry to say it, Keto, giving it a nice attempt here. And was that after time? It was on zero. It was after time. Ooh. Not what you want if you're Keto. I love that double short setup. Good information play from Rush, right? He gets aggressive at the perfect point. That was such a risk from Rush. Like, there's a world he dies to Santara's there on the first peak, and Big, with that entry, they just double down, they rush A, and they win the round, but it, it doesn't go that way. He, he doubles up, he sets up a blame, and it's the element of surprise that puts complexity on seven. Who will be winning this half, though? That's the question. This has been a good T-side from Big, but putting eight on will really be, uh, you know, the cherry on top, the icing on the cake. But you can't have it and eat it, Harry. So, Complexity are going to look to steal it away this last round. Deagle on Keto, limited utility again for big, means they can't throw in too much of a fake here. Yeah, but this is a round where Complexity, they've actually leaned away from this A bomb site. They've got one man here in the form of poison, and he's lying in wait with the AWP over it short. There is an early preemptive rotation around from Rush and grouping up in mid, Complexity now hearing the utility going on in, now become aware of what's afoot. Keto opening up with a- What? 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 That is- No. Keto's Deagle has been unreasonably good in this series. And oh my goodness, he even follows up with- Does, does Keto see smokes? Are they there for him? I don't know anymore because he keeps on doing disgusting stuff like this, Oboe and Blame. Last two left alive, and Keto is just taking this round by storm. Obo, he's running into CT, not looking to save, obviously. Last round of the first half, so he's trying it, but this is not doable. This is not how kills that Keto just bestowed upon us there to round out the half in favor of Big. And I tell you, who else wasn't weren't ready? Complexity, they weren't ready. But are they going to be ready to respond in this second half? Betway certainly seems to think so. These guys have a pretty cool head on their shoulders, so let's yeah. see if they're right on this one. 
had their fair share of correct predictions have bet way but this one is certainly going to be a question mark or big on this ct side where does his team remain what do they have for us they had an excellent ct half against mouse sports yesterday pulling them over the line 16 to 14 but our complexity going to let the ball drop here we're a map up in this series this is big pick but it's instant glock kills cole fake a they run right back through t spawn and big try and fast flank they get denied on it and now everyone getting picked up there's still two more t's on this a side they're just trying to win the round off of kills here and why not bring the bomb back towards a you get in the kills you get in the round the bombs going all the way over the map but it's not a problem it's an eight for complexity they're going to pick it up they run a they run b they run back a i like the that round. they 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 just go to where the fights are they're yeah. like oh yeah. they're a let's come then. yeah let's, yeah let's take them down <laughs> forget bot i like that man it's like the polar opposite leadership that you're, that you're used to seeing right oh last two guys a right that's really throw all this out play, go safe, B, yeah. play it safe nah man blame f is like right config you, a, go. Go, you go do you man i, I trust you Nades up towards ramp and Searson didn't mean Whoa. to, but he falls into the direct line of that nade. That is him just cancelled out of the round immediately with this scout. It's not the start you wanted for big, or at least not for Searson. Down to 15 points of health of single bullet will finish his life in this round. And there's a lot of bullets on the other side. Complexity walking up. Nice shot. Searson, man. How does he so easily replicate these headshots with that gun, man? He's clicking before I'm even seeing the tease, and I have x-ray. But Complexity, they'll take it. Or oh, big run, they'll take it. Man up in a round that they really shouldn't be winning, but now have a very good chance of doing so, considering this is forced eagles and an a stack with complexity being very clear about where they're going not really leaving much to the imagination so bigger able to just pick fights boost up take another kill the grenade is good but it's still a man down for cole even with that trade and the scout's been picked up by tapsing on the boost more nades more damage but no more kills for cole and do they want to commit here into what is undoubtedly a full big setup Yeah, they look like they want to try and run the gauntlet. They look like they want to try and go for this. And this might be a decision that Complexity come to regret because there is this very heavy presence at the ace site. They haven't left themselves with a lot of time. Complexity, they haven't given themselves the easy route back into this round. They're trying to go about it the tricky way. And this nade on Keto with config. Oh, no, that's yeah. it. This could be the round. Oh, dear. The I nade actually double kills. Keto has won the round. Blame F is the last man remaining. And it will stay that way. Big, they steal this one away from complexity. Now, I love that round from Big, right? Hugo, a phrase that I've been saying a lot yeah. in, our, in our little matchmaking games right now is that, oh, here it comes. you know, you just got to play to get one kill. That's all you need. And what I mean by that is, you know, there's two ways that you can kind of approach around. You know, you, you often have guys trying to make big plays and especially on these force buys, it can feel pretty tempting to do that if you're if you're big, right? You just try and set up to take down as many players as you can. But in that round there, big, they just do every little gimmick in the book, right? They do a short side boost. They have Searson nailing one down ramp and every player is just playing to strip one from the ranks of complexity and then set up in the man advantage for the retake. Yeah. I absolutely I love the way they play that. There was no overextension. Everyone is just taking fights in positions where it's pretty low risk. The only kind of risk that was taken by Searson uh, early on in the round, and it was a great risk to take. He got naded down to 15 points of health, and yet he still gets usage out of the scout before he goes down. Well, Cole are getting a taste of their own medicine, Harry. After picking up a pistol here, they have been forced upon by Big. Now, that's something they did twice back on Mirage. Too big, so... Yeah, how's that, how's that feel, Cole? Not so good after all, does it? The Eagles on the other side. Galil getting gifted to poison as Blame gets tagged early. Keto's going to drop the smoke at the top of the stairs. If he can get time to do so, he's actually going to go a bit deep. And so the T's will just flood through him regardless. Keto on the site. Good spray, but he's down to two. Surely no more than one. Luckily, he's got support and the mow down from Keto. The grenade certainly helps. Tabson gets a double in the mix. And it's going to be big finding that anti-force. This is going to push them over the line, Harry. Now, a full eco round for Complexity. Big, this has got 11 rounds written all over it before Complexity even have guns back in their hands. And so Big, well, they have got to be feeling pretty good right about now. Complexity might just look to get this one over and done with. They, oh, I like this, right? They all run over here towards the A ramp. Smoke goes down, and now they maybe look to sneak on back. They make a lot of noise with players crossing over the the, uh, the grate. 
And that's very loud, very audible, and that's meant the big have stacked a lot of players over here towards the A-bomb site. Now, Complexity, they do actually go back once this utility fades. I was wondering if we were going to see them maybe try and commit into this B site, and I understand why they're not, right? Like, I think B, when you've only got Glocks, you're going to struggle to do anything just because you can get bogged down on ramp. And here, it's a bit of the same, but you at least have a few more angles to try and work with. You've got a bit more room, a bit more spacing than the grind up through the B ramp. They get this one kill. Might not mean a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, though, for complexity. Obviously, it's only Glocks in this round. So anything they get is great, but the nades have been stellar from big. Even if you think about how they won the force by, it was a double nade. A uh, double nade kill from Keto to secure the round. Now, Comfy, come on, man. Don't do it with a Glock. Don't do him like this. He's got a dink off and going back in for a bit more. Ooh, oh, Comfy, no. come on, man. It's the vanilla pistol. And Oh, he, he does a lot of damage before they deal with him. Not able to find much more on the back of the kill that they steal. And Big still pulling away right now in the lead, 11 to 8. But here comes the reinvestment from Complexity, and we can see there's almost a little smile on Oboe's face there for a moment. So they've got something special planned for us in this round. Yeah, whatever Complexity you have, it needs to be a big one because you're not going to have many opportunities left here if you don't win this rifle round. Big are just a few away from pushing it over the line. Cole, fast B play early. There's only one man here. Now, this isn't a commitment. They've only got three players in the B area, and they're not exactly committing to anything. They're just trying to draw rotations from Big early, see if we can get some favorable fights. Keto blocked by the pillar. Could have been a problem. Luckily, no one there to stop him. Cole going to leave B with a bomb, walk elsewhere. Worth noting, Santaros, he's pushed all the way down ramp right now. And that is a value, high value to Big here. He's cleared out a lot of info. He realizes, though, his teammate, the call, B's quiet. No one's pushing. And so Santaros is aware that they might be coming back towards A. And he doesn't want to be stuck in a position like last round where he can only get one or two kills before he dies. He wants to be in this for the long haul. So bails out safely, falls back towards A and tries to assist the middle where complexity are also taking. Tizian looking for the little pixel angle. Zantaris is trying to bait them in from the back of middle. Hull only smokes here. They can throw in the wall, they can throw in an execute, but they've still got to get past these fights. Ooh, and they actually are all going in favor of Big right now. Zantaris just comes alive, and suddenly what was meant to be a B split is just a two man push up the ramp. A nice little impromptu boost throwing on in, and blame F. And Oboe have at least brought this back into a doable realm. Blame all alone. Tries to get up for a view on top of the box. Now, bear in mind Tabson. Sneaky little Tabson down at ramp. He's going to blindside Blame F and secure the round for big. 12 to 8. No money in these complexity bank accounts. And this CT side from big is stacking up very, very well right now against the complexity squad. They're in full control of the money. Blame F has stuck a lot into this round. The rest of the gang going to be investing around him. Now, loss bonus. Almost maxing out for complexity. And yeah, this will be the round. So there's that at least for Cole, but yeah, no rounds behind it. Not since the pistol, at least. The force and big have not stopped since that point. Tarez, he's back to ramp and he's back with a vengeance. Look at the fight as they pop through the smoke. He's blind. He only gets one again. Santarez dropped and a gun given over to a round where complexity have armor. So that is a big value. And they might just stop at the pull the brakes here and, and stop and wait for Oboe to work this rifle, try and look for a kill. If he can get one, that would put Cole in a far better spot. But they're just gonna fully execute, commit as a unit, use these pistols together as they try and chase the site. Tabson goes wide, he drops a bomb, but Blame for short does get a response. A bomb yet to be picked up and bigger really fighting for this all oh, almost oh, oh, oh. the smoke was that shot but it will go above system was waiting for a guaranteed kill and that he gets blame dropping back with a fake plant from poison it's not going to force anything out all oh, the swing and the miss oh no the right click from poison he tries to take the silencer off and he gets oh. killed in the sight blame <laughs> they, he has a chance they shot a gun over to him by mistake and somehow <laughs> Blame, he's like telekinetically bought this M4 over to give himself the best chance in this clutch. A 1v2. Flank the bullets left in the mag of the air. A player pushing up through short, but that is Keto on two points of health. So he might be a bit reserved in this push. He's just floating around and holding the position. Blame trying to go wide and Searson 
attempting to peek through this smoke. They're both looking for an angle, and Blame is the man to find it. One shot is all that's required to deal with Keto. He's pushed onto short side Ooh. and is now wrapping ramp, and this is something that Blame won't be ready for. Keto was uh -oh. last he seen dropped. back in A, but he's dropped. Blame's heard the noise. He's hunting for the kill, and he needs it. Five seconds. Blame, he's no. not there. Oh, no, there's no time. This? Keto might even get him off the time. What? And oh, a nice attempt from Blame Air, oh. but not quite. Oh, that's such a shame. I thought he had it. I thought he had it dead to rights. But I think, you know, he just believed that on the back here in the player drop, Keto had run for the hills, heard him hunting. And that was not the case. That was oh. such a winnable round. Yeah, for Poison as well, right? He pulls off the side. He takes off the silence when he gets peaked. Like, oh, that is, that's, that's an orper right there. You know, like muscle what? memory, trying to click that scope. Something else that's so heartbreaking about that is the poison fakes the bomb plant three times. And the reason is, is because he's trying to wait for that utility that's denied them plants prior to come on in. Oh, There's a collateral no. in this round for Searson. Quick trade and response. Now a bit of mid control taken, but poison gets lit up by Keto on this rotation in from B. Bomb out in mid, does get retrieved by Blame F. And yeah, as I was saying, like, think about how different, because there was no utility for, for Big, where Poison's faking those bomb plants. And obviously he's not to know that. It's a very smart decision to be making. It's heartbreaking though, with us knowing all the information, yeah. with us knowing the reality of how close that round was. And if that bomb plant did come in, I think Complexity take that round, but not to be and big answer in the call once again four on two they have stepped up massively here on this ct side they're trying to take us the distance and it's looking real good that we're gonna get there ct side has been everything we wanted and more from big obo good entry to b he's gonna check the back of the site there's still a chance a two on two from a two on four complexity making this one interesting that's a good grenade from zantares a molly will follow but obo plants before it spreads Got a chance to move on the site as well. Tissian's on this flank, but five kills to his name, and he's versus Blame. That's not an easy engagement. Obo spotted the player up deep. Santaros drops off the top, and Blame gets mollied out. Great work from Tizian. Finds a safe 14th round here for Big off the back of that utility, and there's nothing Cole can do about it. 14-8. A flawless T side for Big ever since losing the pistol round, and yeah, this has just been excellent. Maybe money for Cole, there may be a chance to buy up into these last couple of rounds, but there's nothing to suggest that things are going to change here. No two-sided rifle rounds have gone their way. That certainly doesn't help either. Sears getting a collateral in middle to start the round. It's really weird, man. It feels like complexity of like just eating a bunch of magnets before this uh, before this map because it just feels like every shot that, that would connect in the most spe spectacular way for big is connecting and in this round Tatares, no exception he wanted he wants to get stuck in a little bit more he's found a double with it he's dropped the bomb out here on ramp tabson now stepping up to the mark as well and this is a great start from big they are just not giving complexity any room to maneuver they are really laying down the pain, laying down the dominance, and it's so assertive, so uh, so much control being taken by Big. And in this round, Config burns out to the Molotov tag as he tries to cross, poison all alone, and he walks into the stack. Map point for Big, one away from taking us to a third. Of course, dust two loaded, ready to yeah. go in the chamber. And, and you know, Cole, they love dust. They've always loved dust. That's not a worry. But what is a worry is how good Big have looked on that map as of late, even yesterday versus Mouseboards. Even though uh, Mouseboards have been underwhelming in, in the last few months or weeks, really, uh, you know, 16-2 on that map is just shockingly good for Big. So, Blexley, it's not an easy third map to this series. And they are almost definitely going to get there, it seems. One round away from it. Complexity have to get seven in a row, and that's just to start the clock again. Flashes into middle. They're going to go fast as well. Mac 10's leading the charge. The grenade will miss for Tizian, but it's not a worry. Complexity is still going to try and commit to this mid take with a deep smoke towards elevators. Antares drops one of his own to try and fight past the Tizian. I like this angle as well, just trying to watch the back CT flank while players enter the site, and he won't let them in. Although, Tabson. Drops Obo and does trade it. That's a weird one. Obo gets up the stairs with two players in B. No one deals with him. And there's no way Tissian should be dying there. But now let's give it a chance for Cole to go A. They don't realize there's a triple B setup though. And Keto has already begun his rotation. Oh, Look what no. he's found on the way. 
Yeah, betrayed by the barrel. Blame F left all alone. Does drop the first man. And Tabson actually has left this, uh, this B side of the map, playing down a ramp now. Blame knows that there was a second man here. He's planted, taps it out in the open. Tabson not peeking right away. And Blame, he's still got time to play with. Still has more than enough time on this clock. He's even looking in towards mid, and he's scratching his head because Tabson's disappeared. He might be anticipating that there's a double stack at the B bomb site, so making the decision to go towards A. And this could make or break this round. It's how much time he leaves himself with is really the deciding factor here. If he's got time to clear this site and maybe deal with Searson, then there's a chance. But if he just has to rush in the final five seconds, yeah. The oh, bomb oh, oh, what a missed shot. And now there is a chance. Bomb plot found. Blame F, quick readjustment and a missed shot from Searson. Uncharacteristically so. Maybe Blame can keep the dream alive for complexity here on this map. Two kills to his name. He needs the hat trick. He's pushing into CT and he's ready for Tabson. A ninth on the board and Blame F will deliver it. Complexity carry on here on Vertigo. And it's all on the back of some heavy lifting from Blame F. Yeah, he starts sprinting as soon as he gets into Searson's crosshair. Searson sees nothing, he hears nothing, and then suddenly Blame sprinting towards him like a tank jumps into the site. Like, I cannot blame Searson for missing that shot there. Out in the open, though, no way to react, gets killed, and Blame shuts down the round. Now, it's not like Complexity have won the game off that, but they have at least kept themselves in it for now, denying Big the closer, at least for another couple, you would think, right? Big probably shouldn't win this round. I'm not going to say they probably won't because I've made that mistake before. But they aren't invested fully. Deagles and Scouts. So Cole definitely armed better, even though there's a bit of a, a bit of miss as well. Moving up towards A with this one AK. L winning that round in a one-on-one -on -one is certainly, you know, not good for Cole's economy, right? Like obviously it's better than losing the round, but they would have much rather had players alive because that's why things are so expensive right now. Only Blame saves his gun. Poison from the orb, actually, by the save, I'd imagine. Kill Sears in the sight. Rush is ready to burst. We've got five players here for Cole and three players from Big to meet them. Bam, damage connecting early on, and Poison actually uh, getting tagged in amongst it all. Here comes the play. Rush with this MAC-10 needs to churn up some heads. Uh, well, what do you know? He's churned up some heads on the push. Config helping out. And this 10th round looking inevitable now. I say that. Keto's still alive with the Deagle. So let's... Uh, Keto's no longer alive with the Deagle. Does get one with the nade in his Wonderful. parting breath. Tizzy and going to try and deny the plot. Goes through, and they're already holding the angle. Config ready and waiting for it. So a 10th on the board for Complexity. They need five in a row on top of the two that they've already got. So seven total to tie this one up and take us to overtime. I, you know, it is doable. That's the crazy thing. This is very winnable for Cole. Obviously, it's going to be a real grind, but if there were any team to be able to do it, it feels like, it feels like they're still believing. And we saw those camera shots after Blame went out one on two. You know, they're sixth round behind, but they still look positive. They still look like they you know, are going to try and push us over the line. And with this round again from Big, another low economy one, right? They've got the grenades, they've got pistols and armor. No kit. I would have loved a kit this round. Perfect round for it, in my opinion. But um, luckily, Cole, they're going to kill them all before this get to this plant comes anyway, or at least try to. Fights towards Ace and Taurus gets away. He won't rid the rifle of the round. He won't steal it from the hands of complexity, but... It is actually left at A ramp and complexity. Well, they've left A ramp. They've run right towards B. Good call from Obo because no one's here and he's just running in, beating Tizzy into the punch. Furthest he can get his gens before he gets spotted. Even then, that's optimistic, but a big kill from Tizzy and keeps big in this round. Bomb has been planted. Config could do it all, though. He's the man has this round in the palm of his hands and peeking out through the construction he's dealt with one zantara is still here and poison getting picked up oh dear luckily enough they do deal with that threat they get rid of the man in the back line searson doesn't fare well past that initial kill and so for zantara he's going to try and hold on to this ak Big. They're not worried yet. They've still got rounds to play with. They've still got room here to close this game out. 
slowly but surely complexity grinding their way back into this one. It is just the one worry in my mind is that all it takes is either one little mistake, a couple of chance digs from a guy like Keto, maybe an opening kill from a man like Searson on the AWP, and this could all just fall apart for complexity, yeah. right? They need to be flawless here. This has to be better than ever before if they want to get this four on the board. And you know Big's game plan is going to be interesting in this round, right? They just double eco. They didn't really need to. They could have full eco the first and probably bought in the second, but they wanted everything and they wanted chances to get there with pistols. So the AWP is out for Searson. Kits, util, everything for Big. This is the best round they're going to have or the best chance they're going to have to shut this out before it becomes a real problem. With every round of complexity win, it's not like a two for one, right? Especially not against such a good uh, Deagle team, uh, such as Big. But, you know, with every round that you win, every rifle round that you win in this position against CTs, you put them on eco. And so Cole only need two or three rifle rounds, depending on how big spare their investments here. Out of the four rounds left to get to OT. So this is more than doable for Cole. But this rifle round, this one buy from Big could put a stop to it before it even starts. Yeah, there's a lot of B presence from Big right now, and that's going to change because Keto has pushed down the extremities of ramp and actually decides to go back because a lot of utilities come in towards this A site. So he sets up passive. He's not looking to come in on a lurk and instead will just play the rotation. The other guys that were at B with him are now inside of this A site. So complexity, their timing to hit a weakened A bomb site is now out the window. And they're going to be walking into this stack once again. Or not. They're walking away. That bomb is leaving A as this util goes up. There's three players standing a fake, but that's through the smoke. Oh no. What a way for this map to fall apart. Cole about to fake the A site with a B execute. That site is empty, but they've lost everyone on A. And now Big have realized, yeah, Cole do have B, but they should have Four, four or five alive. That's not the case. Smoke spam from Tabson may have just closed out this map. And Cole in a two on five with a delayed bomb plant from Rush. Oh dear. Good luck. Yeah, they're going to try and play an aggressive crossfire because at this point in time, you don't really have many more options, right? You either play for the clutch and hope that they go slow. And why would Big go slow? They rush into the site. Now, no one's ready for Blame, but yeah, he's not going to be able to do that. He would have to spray down all five in one burst and it doesn't happen big they'll get the defuse they take vertigo they get it under their wing and they lock in dust two as this third and final map in this 